Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Wakakadash. Double honors to the elders for preaching this word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Aki, scattered through the four corners of the globe, preaching the word truthfully and sincerely as well, too. And I say Shalom to your Aki out there. And this is a uh, sit down lesson that I want to bring out. This was recently from ArabNews.com. And by Reuters of March 6, I mean March 6, 2023. And it reads uh, Taiwan warns of China military suddenly, sudden entry closer to island. Right, and keep this in mind. I will say about, I will say about, two, about three or four days ago, you had the once again increasing uh, military presence with the uh, Chinese flying uh, warplanes flying near the uh, Taiwan Strait, and then uh, Taiwan respond of their activation of their military as well too. As they uh, potentially uh, tensions were rising increasingly between Taiwan and uh, China, you know, and the United States made that announcement of a six hundred and nineteen million dollar military aid assistance to uh, to you know military assist uh, Taiwan while the tensions are stirring up down in the South China Sea near the Taiwan Square. So I just want to uh, add a note to that. And it says uh, China has stepped up its military activity around Taiwan in recent years. Beijing last year staged a unprehended military exercise around Taiwan. Taiwan Defense Minister Chu Cho Cheng warned on Monday the island has to be on, on alert this year for a sudden entry by the Chinese military entering areas close to its territory amending the rising military tensions across the Taiwan Strait. China has stepped up its military activities around Taiwan in recent years, including most almost daily air force incursions into the island's air defense identification zone. However, Taiwan has not yet reported any incident on the Chinese forces entering it is contiguous zone within its 24 not cool not so cool if I pronounce that right miles of 44.4 kilometers from the from its coastal line but it has uh, shot down a civilian drone that Enter its airspace near a isolate off the uh, coast, uh, Chinese coast last year. Answering question from lawmakers in the preliminary, uh, Cho Chu said the Chinese uh, People's Liberation Army, the PLA, might find an excuse to enter areas close to the Taiwan territory air and sea space as. The island step up its military exchange with the United States to Beijing era. He said the PLA might make a sudden entry into the Taiwan's contentious zone, getting closer to its territory space, which the island defines as a 12 miracle miles from its coastal line. It says, uh, I specifically make these comments this year, meaning that they are making such preparations. Chu said, looking forward, they will use force if they really have to. Taiwan has vowed to, I mean, Taiwan has vowed to exercise its rights to self-defense and counterattack if China's army forces enter its territory. China last year staged a unprecedented, unprecedented uh, military exercise around Taiwan in reactions to a visit to the island by U.S. House Speaker Nancy Pelosi. Right. Once, once was uh, House Nancy. Uh,
House Speaker Nancy Pelosi, but she stepped down. They have a new uh, House Speaker, and he's a Republican. So I just want to add a note to that. It says, Chun said China is looking to make trouble under a certain pretext, adding that might, including visitors, visits to the island made by foreign senator government officials on or Taiwan's frequent military contacts with other countries. He said the uh, PLA sends about 10 planes or ships to area near Taiwan a day. Some of them cross the immediate line of the Taiwan Strait, which normally serves as an unofficial buffer. On a almost daily basis, he added, Cho said, since China has destroyed a tactical agreement on military movements in the Strait, Taiwan has made preparations to fire the fire shot if China entities, including drones or balloons, enter its territory space. China claims the self-governor Taiwan in its own has not reannounced the use of force to bring the island under Chinese control if needed. Taiwan strongly rejects China's sovereignty claims and says only its people can decide their future. So as you see, the uh, tensions are heating up more and more down near the uh, Taiwan Strait and the South China Sea. And this is the book of Mark, chapter 13, verse 7, and it reads the Holy Scriptures. And when ye shall hear of wars and rumors of wars, uh, be ye not troubled, for such things must need be, but the end shall not be yet. Mark 13, 8. Nation shall rise against nation. Right. Uh, for nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be earthquakes in diverse places. And there shall be famines and troubles. These are the beginning of sorrows, right? Because we're entering those increasing beginning of sorrows of these nations. going to have the increasing hostility towards one another. And the tensions definitely is just going to stir up even more and more. Now, according to this report right here, as it says, uh, Taiwan warns of China military sudden entry close to the island. So uh, the tensions are there. It is going to intensify, heat up more and more and more as the days progresses on. You know. So with that, uh, hopefully this uh, sit down less was edifying. I don't like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Uh Double honors to the elders for preaching his word truthfully and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim, scattered to the four corners of the globe. Preaching the word truthfully and sincerely. And until next time, I will say Shalom.